You've probably heard a lot of hype around the word MCP, which is Model Context Protocol, and how it's changing AI development. Model Context Protocol basically is the USB hub of the internet for AI agents, where it allows AI to connect with a whole bunch of different tools and actually use them. So in this video, I'm gonna show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to connect MCP to Cursor, which is the most popular AI coding assistant, and we'll hook it into Superbase, which is one of the very popular database providers. So this unlocks the power to actually prompt AI inside a cursor for doing full stack applications, generating not only the UI, but also the backend and linking it all together automatically. So if you wanna use MCP to build web apps even faster than before, this is the perfect video for you. So what we're gonna do is come over to Superbase, set up an account in through here. It is completely for free with certain limits, but in terms of any side projects, it will be all sweet. Once you've done that, you'll be able to create a project and an organization. And so I've got this one called YouTube Demo here, and there's currently nothing in the authentication, nothing in the table editor, none of that stuff. So it's a completely blank project. So now we want to actually hook this up into MCP inside of Cursor. So what we can do is go over to this guide doc, I'll put a link in the description, and then we want to do it for Cursor. And so we see this, and this is just pretty much how you do it. So we grab this, we copy and paste into here, switch over to cursor, and then we want to go file, preferences, cursor settings, and there's a little tab here for MCP. Go here, and we want to go add a new global server. So there'll be some information in here, I've just deleted it just for the purpose of the tutorial, but then we just control V into here. So now that's all set up. The only thing we need is our personal access token here. So we'll go back to Superbase to grab that. So we go back into Superbase and we go over here and we wanna to go to the top left. So we go to the home page and then we go to access tokens. Now I made one before, just delete that and make a new one. So we go over here to generate new token and we're gonna call the name MCP cursor or any relevant name you'd like. Really important about this is do not give this out to anybody, keep it very private, because this accesses your entire Superbase, so all your projects, all your organizations, all of that information. So as soon as this video, is, before this video is even out, this will be deleted. So I copy this over and I go back into cursor and then replace it for the personal access token in here. So now that that's done, that is all set up, I'll control S to save that. I'll go back to cursor settings and I see a nice little green light next to Superbase. And so you can see all the different project, uh, these are all different kind of tools inside of the Superbase MCP server that allows the cursor AI model to actually interact and create that. So what I've done is I've got a basic Flight React project and if I click on that, this is what it's currently looking like, it's just a blank project. So what I'm gonna do is come over to new chat on the top right quickly go to the ask mode and I'm just going to ask um, do you have access to the Superbase MCP server just to double check it has access but it should do because it's got a green here and run through yes I can see that awesome so now I'm going to go into agent mode and build out a basic login screen that into Superbase using MCP in this current project. So that's really basic prompt. Obviously, when you're doing your own project, you give it as much information that is relevant to the project itself. Um, so that's gonna take a bit of time and it will run through and do everything. So once that's done, I will come back and show you. So that only took around three to five minutes to fully run and get through, create a login screen. I'm wearing different clothes, so I ran into town while this was going, but again, it only actually took three to five minutes, so I could have sat around and waited. Um, and it's cool, we can see the whole thought process that goes through here, so it starts off by actually reading what's in the files in the current directory, how the project's set up, then it starts calling the MCP tool for Superbase, and that kind of, again, lists the projects that I currently have in my Superbase account, my organizations, all of that information to kind of make the best decision on where to put a project for this. And it goes through, installs Superbase, libraries, packages, all that kind of stuff. And you can kind of go through and just see all the different changes it's making to the files to create a login page, etc. 
Um, so we go all the way down to the end, then it gives us some SQL code that it's uh, running inside the profiles table to link everything up together. So if we go back to our local host run website here, it's now created us a nice login page. We can go and log in or we can go register. If we go check into Superbase, it's actually linked up to my personal um, account, not my other one that I showed before. And so in here we go table editor, we can see there's now a profiles table that originally was all blank and that's all filled out. And then authentication as well, it's currently all blank. But once we go over to here, we can actually add a new user. So if we go register here, chuck in a name, chuck in an email, and chuck in a password there as well. Let's just go test one, two, three. Hit register, and that should go through, hopefully. Might take a bit of time. It does go through, doesn't look like there is any um, tracking to let us know we can log in now. If we go back over to authentication and refresh this page here, hopefully we'll see it all come in here. Awesome. So now we've got a unique ID, we've got the name, the email, etc. And then in Superbase it has authentication for people's emails, so I'd get an email that I need to go and approve. Um, and it's waiting for verification there. And then that should hook up to a table editor here and a profiles table, and then that is in here as well. So no username or this kind of stuff yet because I haven't logged in and presumably can settle that now. So that's how you kind of set up MCP for Superbase inside of Cursor. It is really, really powerful to hook up any of your back end to your front end design, and you can just run a code, like a single prompt like this, and get a user login page completely done for you in under three minutes which is awesome so you can continue to build this out put your whole project in there and it goes really well if you found that video useful leave a like comment and subscribe i constantly post videos around ai tutorials guides etc cheers